with this committee, and therefore we stand Chairman, adjourned. Chairman, Chairman, I have a statement. We're adjourned. Close it down. Illusion directed by or on behalf of the White House. Before our document, thank you. We'll interview one witness, Chairman Isla, on national television, and said that this way, the targeting of the president's political enemies effectively and lies about it during the election year in the fall. He continued this theme on Sunday, but I, if you will sit down and allow me to ask the question, I am a member of the Congress of the United States of America. I am tired of this. Well, we have, we have members over here, each who you represent 700,000 people. You cannot just have a one-sided investigation. There is absolutely something wrong with that, and this is absolutely un-American. Here, here. Joining me now, Congressman Matt Cartwright of Pennsylvania, who serves on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. He was there today. In fact, it was his voice you heard at the end of that clip we played saying, here, here. Congressman, have you ever seen a scene like that in Congress? Well, uh, Chris, I guess uh, we've, we're done with the sheer lunacy part of your show. We're now on to the unadulterated lunacy <laughs> part. Um, and the answer is no, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, I've never seen anything like that in the Congress. I've never seen anything like that in my 25 years of trial practice. Uh, you know, I come from northeastern Pennsylvania, Chris, where we have these fanciful notions of fair play and free speech. Uh, I understand other Americans feel the same way. Um, those notions were trampled upon today in the, the oversight hearing. And, you know, the great irony, Chris, is that uh, our ranking member for the Democrats is Elijah Cummings out of Maryland. And Mr. Cummings started off, uh, you know, when Lois Lerner first came to testify in Congress and when, uh, actually when it was uh, Russell George who showed up last year with his uh, detailed report about uh, unfair targeting of yep. certain political groups, uh, Mr. Cummings was outraged and he <laughs> expressed his outrage uh, uh, vociferously. Yeah. Uh, and he was ready to uh, uh, rain down hellfire on whoever was, was doing a, that, this at the IRS. That's an excellent point. And a lot of people, I mean, we, we on this network, I remember doing the show that night. I mean, the, the initial indications were something truly, truly screwed up happened there. And the question was how far up it went. I think it's been, I want to play Elijah Cummings, Congressman Cummings, talking about the extent of investigations that have already happened. Take a listen. We have now uh, interviewed 38 IRS uh, employees, uh, hundreds of thousands of pages of documents from IRS have been reviewed, 14 million dollars plus and counting uh, in man hours have been expended in addressing the various investigations with regard to the IRS. People are going to look at the, the, the tape the, 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 that we played at the top of the show, what happened in that committee, and they're going to say, oh, this is, this is partisan rancor, this is polarization, and this is basically both sides doing it. One guy cuts the mic, the other guy's shouting into the mic. What do you say to people who see this and just see two sides yelling at each other equally to blame for the situation? Well, you ha uh, good question, Chris, and the, the answer is you have to understand House rules uh, pr uh, provide for both sides to have equal time. And so uh, Ranking Member Cummings was supposed to have five minutes to make a statement or to ask questions or both. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was just astonishing to see uh, the chairman, Mr. Issa, not only cut him off, but physically reach over and push the button to turn off Mr. Cummings' microphones. We had never seen anything I mean, like this before. This is the ranking member on a committee. And, and for folks that are watching, I mean, I've, I've covered Congress, and even at moments of intense partisan discord, the ranking member and the chair tend to work together relatively closely. They kind of have to logistically just to get the committee running. Their staffs work together. I have never seen anything get this bad. We understand that this committee is, is, uh, is really up to, it's just a, a grandstanding uh, tool uh, for Mr. Issa. We get that. Uh, but at some point you have to ask the question, how effective is that to the people, you know, the swing voters in America who like to have a little more meat on the bones than just shouting IRS or Benghazi? Uh, it, how effective is this kind of tomfoolery 
to the uh, average American voter uh, who could vote either yeah. way. I don't, I don't and, think uh, it's been, I think, I think the answer to that is that it has not been very effective and in some ways uh, w w not very much of, of, of use has come out of um, that, that committee and, and it's a committee that has produced uh, lots of useful things in the past. Congressman Matt Cartwright, thank you so much. You bet.